digital aircraft. And uh, it's the week before the MRO Americas. And uh, it's an exciting time for us in aviation aerospace and the airline industry because we're all coming back together and we're beginning to do business again um, in the industry. Uh, the industry is growing rapidly. You know, we have challenges in the industry, like we have uh, labor shortages, we have skill shortages, um, we have pilot shortages, we have supply chain challenges, inflationary prices, fuel prices going up. And all these things represent a real challenge to operations within the business, within the industry. And we have to find a way to balance all of those things in order to be successful and to be able to have successful operations in the aviation industry. So what are we going to do? Well, we're gathering together at the MRO Americas next week, and we're going to be um, you know, having discussions with one another about how can we have more effective business. And it's going to be great to be able to be meeting with some of you. I'm going to be there. If you'd like to meet, you can reach out to me. Send me a message you know, here in, the, uh, in LinkedIn. Tell me you're going to be there, and I'd love to be able to meet with you and to be able to have some conversations. Today, I wanted to have a discussion with you about uh, remote collaboration. Listen, what's happened to us in the last couple of years is that we've advanced digital dramatically and we've all become aware that we have to operate more efficiently remotely within all of our businesses. And one way that we're able to do that is with digital. Now, if you take a look at some of the challenges we have in the industry in doing remote collaboration, um, you know, where is it important? Why is it important to be able to do it? Well, look, we have airplanes that turn around and we have information that we need in order to be able to um, you know, turn aircraft around, whether they be overnights or whether they be you know, first launches in the morning or whether they be quick turns um, you know, when an aircraft comes into the gate. But either way, we need uh, information to be able to get the work done, to get the job done. And uh, I call it sometimes situational awareness. Well, digital has allowed us to be able to, to uh, do that more effectively, to be able to do remote collaboration really more effectively. And so having mobile devices available to us where we can have information coming together and can be available to the people that are doing the work on the spot, in the right place at the right time, enables us to be more successful. Having digital creates an environment where we're able to be more successful in doing this remote collaboration. Um, we can effectively prevent um, delays, maybe in the launches of cargo aircraft or delays and cancellations in turns of aircraft, um, quick turns of aircraft. And then we can find ourselves in a situation where having information available to us, having maintenance information, having parts information, having operational information, having uh, you know uh, planning information, having um, all the information we need available to us uh, to be able to launch the aircraft off um, remotely allows us to be able to do this more effectively. Listen, when we're doing maintenance on the aircraft and we have to go get on the airplane, um, we need maintenance information. We need parts information. Um, this all becomes much easier in today's environment when we have mobile devices and when we have the ability to be able to um, access that information uh, remotely and to collaborate with other people. Um, another good example of it is like um, if we're collaborating with maintenance control. So um, let's say we have uh, some minor damage on the aircraft or we have an MEL item which comes up on the airplane and uh, we need to determine whether the aircraft can be dispatched or not. Well, the mechanic comes out to the airplane. He needs the proper information. He maybe needs uh, digital task cards. He maybe needs access to the to the structural repair manual or needs to be able to get in contact or get in touch with engineering or maintenance control, um, you know, stores, all those different things become much easier and more efficient when we have uh, digital and when we have remote information available to us. Now, why is that important? Okay, because we're all struggling with labor challenges. We're struggling with having enough people to get the job done. We're struggling with having the right skills available to us. And if you have remote collaboration, we now have the ability to access people remotely. Maybe the engineering skills are not readily available that we need to be able to dispatch maybe some damage on the aircraft. And so we need to remotely access you know, um, somebody, either a person or information, and to be able to get the job done. So all these things come into the category of remote collaboration, helping us to be able to um, you know, optimize our environment and to have better information better data available to us that now becomes actionable information. It becomes information available to us that we can make decisions on and we can dispatch aircraft. But we do this by having better systems and accessibility of systems into our remote collaboration. Hey, listen, there's so many different ways that you can do this. And like I said, I'm going down to the MRO Americas next week and I'm going to be there. I'm going to be with a number of different companies. I'm going to be visiting with you know, many of you that are watching here today, I wanted to offer to you that if you wanted to reach out to me, um, we can have a conversation about your 
uh, digital access, your digital portfolio, the things that you're doing in your digital environment, and how you can optimize that, how you can improve your remote collaboration. Um, one of the companies I'm going to be uh, down there with is Ramco Systems, and uh, there's a link here in this, uh, this uh, live broadcast I'm doing today where you can schedule an appointment and we could uh, you know, plan to meet and to have a conversation about you know, your environment, your business, and what you can do to be able to optimize your digital environment. But listen, this is extremely critical that we all do this today in order to be successful because we are not gonna be able to be successful unless we improve the way that we, um, that we do work together. That if we improve our collaboration and for us to be able to do that remotely, there's security issues, there's, there's hardware issues, there's software issues, um, there's access to data, all these things play and come together. And if you have an environment that's optimized, you will be more successful in doing that. It starts with a baseline of your IT portfolio. And I wanted to offer to you that I've worked with hundreds of companies in the last few years. And I understand much of what's happening in the industry and the tools that are available. And I'm willing to sit down with you and have a conversation about your environment and what you can do to optimize your environment to be successful in this uh, world and in this place that we are today. Join me at the MRO Americas next week. I'm looking forward to seeing you there. Reach out to me and uh, give me, just give me a shout. Either send me a message um, on LinkedIn or you can send me a message on email, but reach out to me. Let's have a conversation. Hey, listen, fair winds and following seas to you. And I'll see you tomorrow when we talk about digital task cards. Have a great day. Bye.